Hello friends, as a part of uh, Anthropology through Vocabulary on Susan classes, we are glad to continue this list of terminologies. The one that we are picking up for today's uh, discussion is primary and secondary data collection. In any social science for that matter, how one gathers the data from the field in the absence of any kind of elaboratory work becomes very very vital. Humans form the subject matter and one has to gather the data from the society or culture. And when it comes to anthropology, there are different uh, categorizations of sources for data collection. For the today's discussion sake, I am picking up these two terms, primary and secondary sources. The classical anthropology depended on secondary sources, while the modern anthropology used primary sources of data collection. When it comes to the secondary sources, the researcher depends on somebody else's records. They may be literary sources, historical records or any such writings that were uh, produced by somebody else. And in this particular process, the major drawback of secondary sources of data collection is there is a missing link between what the researcher might understand from the data and what the original producer, original data collector must have witnessed on the field. And hence the modern anthropology started to use primary sources of data collection. It is here we see that uh, the researcher makes a personal visit to the field and tries to get the data through various techniques. They may be research oriented advanced techniques such as you know, case studies or uh, they may be uh, ethnological methods such as interviews, questionnaires, etc. The most important method of data collection is participant observation that made anthropology a discipline what it is today and hence we can say that primary sources of data collection with participant observation as the most significant area of research anthropology became what it is due to them. Keep watching. Thank you.